Hello everyone! Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm so happy you're here. It has been a while, but I am going to catch up on Mando. Season 3, I feel like... I don't want to say... I mean, I'll, I love Mando. You know I love him. And I love my baby. But this season has felt watered down a little for me and I've said this before in the last one I don't know if it's because I don't know the history as much or just like the writing hasn't been as you know I don't have that like ooh, we're gonna watch the next episode maybe the stakes don't seem as high or maybe they just went away from the formula that was working for me like we go on an adventure we save the town and maybe the stakes don't seem as high I don't know it's gonna turn around I know it is I'm so easily entertained, so I'm still liking it. It just doesn't, maybe it's because I watched like True Detective and The Last of Us, and now going back to this, it almost just seems like, and, and it's fine that it is. I just have to like get in that mindset that this is like just different, obviously. Okay, let's do it. You don't know the power of the dark <laughs> My kids love that freaking Satan song. Should we drink here? Oh. Render your ship and I'll spare your life. Never trust a pirate. Don't mistake my hospitality for weakness. Is that what you call gunning down my helmsman in cold blood when he let down his guard on your planet? He shot first. I've heard that before. I thought Don't you... hail me again unless it's to surrender. What? We're doing this? What is what is what do the pirates even want? To control the city? Who are you gonna call? I'm just gonna say it. Jin. Jin. Din. Duri. We have been attacked by Pirate King Gorian Shard. I am humbly requesting the New Republic to send a patrol to clear out the raiders. I'm afraid that our planet will fall. Shard will turn this into a pirate base. I really thought Navarro was gonna make it. And for this is a Coruscant. Request permission to intercede. They haven't returned a dispatch in weeks. They're swamped. Then I'm just gonna have to go there and talk to them myself. The New Republic people? He's gonna go ask for permission to go help? You know what I forgot about? The whole scientist guy and the girl and the... Captain Tavia here to see Colonel Tuttle. It'll only be a There's some time in the outer rim, right? Have you ever heard of Navarro? I have. They're not a member planet. But we have a backlog of requests from member worlds that have priority. Navarro has reported accounts of stormtroopers in the street. Yeah. Off Gideon occupying the town. <gasps> I'm requesting authorization and backup for dealing with pirates on Navarro, sir. Granted. But from experience, it often takes a new perspective before one is able to see the light. You and your sword didn't see the light. You were captured. No, I was liberated. Mm. Fishy, fishy, trusty, trust. Don't trust her. There's something dangerous happening out there. And by the time it becomes big enough for you to act, it'll be it'll too be late. Too late. Hey, wait, 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 wait. That's all the people left of all Navarro? Help will arrive soon. Is he gonna try and do it by himself? He's gotta recruit someone. Or many. <gasps> all the Mandos. Family. The New Republic isn't welcome here. How did you manage to find us? Thanks, R5. The entire covert will now have to relocate. Or we could kill him. Stay right here. Okay, big guy. Chill. Navarro is under siege by pirates. They're about to blow Navarro to hell. Coruscant doesn't care. What's in it for you? The New Republic has to know that the Empire is growing again. You think the Pirate King has something to do with it? 
the New Republic turns bad, right? I just came to tell you your friend is in danger. I know you'll relocate anyway, but you have my word. I will not reveal your location. Come on, he's a nice guy. I gotta help the guy. Grief Karga is now a high magistrate and has offered me a tract of land on his independent world. Perhaps it is time for us to live in the light so our culture may flourish and our children can feel what it is to play in the sunlight. Does anyone else wish to speak? I do. Oh boy. I saw many die to save the life of this one tiny foundling. And now we are asked to sacrifice yet again. All right, well this guy's not on your side. Why should we lay our lives down yet again? Because we are Mandalorians. Oh. He risked his life to save my son. Well, that was and a change of And bo did not give up on my child's life. These two are asking us to take up arms in the name of a brighter future. And I, for one, will take up arms to fight by their side. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. We could be heroes. I can't hear myself, so that, that was terrible. It, that, that's the way. <laughs> Yo ho, yo ho! Captain, there's a starfighter off our port bow! Why is he a seaweed monster? Mandalorian! Man the gunnel! Blast that ship! Understood. He's like an orc. Thanks for your help, Mando. I decided to take you up on your offer for a tract Oops. of land. Be careful, my friend. They've got you outnumbered. Approaching drop point. Oh! Oh yeah, okay. I'm on the N1. He's got a baby on board. They're pursuing the Mandalorian. Then bring them back. Uh, Mr. Shmi! <laughs> Starfighter's a decoy. There's a secondary attack. Possible ambush. Take cover. Good job, monkeys. Team one, team one, come in, we need backup. <gasps> it's okay, it's okay, you got best color, right? Oh. <gasps> Another engine down, and shields are failing. Oh, the welder. Hello. This Thor move. All clear. For no more. Oh, phew. Thought that was. There's only one snub fighter left. It's been a pleasure serving you, Captain. But it's time to part ways. <laughs> Sir, we're down to our last engine! He's targeting the townspeople. You gotta take him down. See you later, alligator. Get it? Because he looks like a swamp. Okay. That was Thank you. All of you, to our fine Mandalorian liberators. From this day forward, I, Magistrate Grief Garga, hereby cede all land, the western lava flat, to the fine people of Mandalore. But you do now have a home. Welcome and. We can raise our children in the sunshine. This was once the forge of our covert. I have been to the great forge on Mandalore. They serve the same purpose. Can't tell if she's mad at her or gonna offer her something good. Remove your helmet. But do you respect my station? I do. Remove your helmet. Um, this seems like a setup. Our people have strayed from the way, and it is not enough for a few to walk it. We must walk it together. This is the way. I was taught that the Mythosaur existed only in legends, and yet, you saw it. It is a sign that the next age is upon us. Mandalore must all come together. You have walked both worlds. You are the one who can unite us. Speech, speech. 
Bo-Katan Kryze is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to us. But she shows her face. Bo-Katan walks both worlds and bring all tribes together. I like that. It's like saying, like, you it know, everyone's to welcome. Retake Mandalore. It is done. Careful. I really like you. I found a derelict Lambda shuttle. The hull was breached. There's a record of a missing craft in the region. R7, launch probe. Hmm. It's a New Republic prison transport. Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. There don't appear to be any survivors. Except Moff And Moff Gideon's Gideon. body is missing. There appears to be something embedded in the cabin wall. Get in close on that. It's gonna be the New Republic themselves, isn't it? It's a fragment of Beskar alloy. Are you saying that Moff Gideon was taken by Mandalorians? No. Or other Mandalorians. Hmm. Okay. Um, so there's a lot going on in this season. And I'm hoping that they're gonna bring it all together in a satisfying conclusion. Okay, I don't oh, I don't know. I don't know. I liked, it was fine. I think it's maybe that obviously the character development of Mando is there and even bo kind of, but they just don't do enough of other people to make me not care. I, of course I care about the people of Navarro, but like, I don't know. I don't know. They're just like that scene where the people were cheering and like, no, it just seemed, it took me out of it. I don't know but we won we won and we're gonna reclaim mandalore and that's exciting and that's big news and moff gideon lives and baby yoda and and mando are just like you know they're 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 together and and this is what i wanted i i so i'm mad at myself i mean i know i'm being hypocritical because i literally said i just want to watch them like go get happy meals and soccer games and that's fun i like that he's training him and he just gets to like ride on his lap and it's fine i just you know the whole new republic thing and the scientists and it's all gonna come together i don't know why it's just like i think the stakes aren't high enough which is another hypocritical thing coming from me where i'm like i want everyone to be happy you know okay let's do it oh yeah thank you He's one of them. The Darksaber. Oh yeah, and the Darksaber! That he doesn't really know how to use. And that bo has to fight him for? <laughs> Do we feel like it was hers all along, the Darksaber? Like... We are a peaceful corn freighter making our way to do business in the Mid-Rim. We are Mandalorian. Sadly, you're too late to hire us. You see, we've been commissioned to track you down, Captain Shuggoth. You see, we were already hired by a certain Mon Calamari Viceroy who has reason to believe you absconded with her son. It's a lie. We finally have peace with the Calamari. Are they saying Calamari? Like, the appetizer? I can't go back to that wretched palace. You have to go with them. I thought Mandalorians were honorable. We are, kid. All it takes is a few credits. Hmm. I like that main guy. Get down to business. Axe Wolves is their leader now. It's going to take some convincing to get them to join us. Can't imagine Wolves will be happy to see you. Yeah. Welcome to Plasia 15. You've been assigned a docking slip. You will be guided on the assigned path, engaging automated guidance. Okay. This is pretty nice. Bring us to the bay closest to the Mandalorian fleet. Your presence has been requested by the leadership of the planetary democracy. I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. This is not a request. Ooh, they should make this a ride at Star Wars land. Do you think we're gonna have to blast our way out of here? We'll find out. So shiny and clean, this place. A little too shiny and clean. What? Join us! Come! Everyone, special guests! Jack Black! Take a little sip sip. Come. Uh, did he just say take a little sip sip? You were Imperial? He was. 
Is that Litho? Can I perhaps hold the baby? He doesn't take kindly to strangers. <gasps> I'd like to speak to these privateers. That can be arranged. There is just one condition. You really must see the view. This is so weird. We have a problem. A droid problem. Coordinated malfunction. We think. What kind of malfunction? Unexpected I power throw cycle. My head deleted tasks. Check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Accident. Uh, heavy equipment failures leading to injury. Assault. Respectfully, what does this have to do with us? Our constables are ill-equipped to confront battle droids. Battle droids? <laughs> They've been rehabilitated for civic duty. You want us to eliminate your droid problem? Exactly. What do you think? You had me at battle droids. <laughs> Boys, we're all reprogrammed to serve the community. What the cameo? Great Scott! Droid reprogramming was a complete success until one day an isolated event. Why not turn them all off? Who's in charge of that? I have a fail safe cutoff switch. However, the citizens voted against any interruption. The citizens are no longer required to work. If we shut down Ooh. the droid, our citizens would know how to survive. Then what oh. do you want from us? To seek out and decommission any remaining rogue droids until we can fix the problem. Give us the list. You'll have to go to the lower level and speak to the Ugnaughts. 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 Are those the little cuties? Which one of you is in charge? Oh, I was thinking of those little guys. I am Mandalorian Din Djarin, friend of Ugnaught Quill. You will answer our questions. Quill. We know that Ugnaughts are considered the hardest working species in the galaxy. We, like you, have been engaged with a task to perform. We will investigate the dangerous incidents. We would appreciate your help. That was very diplomatic and fair. Here are the locations of the droids you seek. Uh, my question is, who is doing this to the droids? Or is it literally just a malfunction? Oh, this is a restricted area. The wiener dog ones. We're here on behalf of the Duchess to investigate the droid malfunctions. Yeah, what are you doing? And this shouldn't phase them. Uh, sir? Uh, sir? <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be... Hello. Holy crap. That seems so weird for that droid to be running like... Like a human. Cobra Kai. I found a spark pad. What's it say? The resistor. What? And there's an address. <laughs> Are they like drinking like oil? Like 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 scarecrows? That spark pad was found on a rogue battle droid. You can check my registry. We are in full compliance with the planetary biological. If you don't start answering questions, I'll yank your memory circuit and dissect it back at the lab. Forgot how much he hates droids. There are concerns among my customers that we will be replaced. By what? Humans. Human life is so short, they don't ask that much of us. Organics created us. It's the least we can do. Organics. <laughs> See, Mando. It seems the malfunctioning droids all imbibed from the same batch of Nepenthe. These are the remains of the latest malfunctioning droid. We're looking for programming subparticles. We're doing investigating this episode. What are the chances that they're still active? <laughs> That'll do. They're still active. They're actually nano droids. How did nano droids get into the Nepenthe? It's writing. Rotate the perspective. It's a chain code. We're about to uncover something. They were originally something, manufactured by the Techno Union. Chain title says it didn't arrive on Plazir through droid acquisitions. How did it arrive? They were requisitioned by the security office. Is that unusual? It's illegal. There's no record of this transaction on the government registry. These droids were ordered by an individual, our head of security, Commissioner Hellgate. Doc. We have some questions for you. Sorry, I have to check the data farm. We know about the Nepenthe and the nanodroids. You programmed them to disrupt an attack. 
Everyone freeze. Don't make me do it. Because he's a republic guy or he just doesn't... I didn't give up to the corrupt republic and I won't give up to you. Count Dooku was a visionary. Count Dooku. Enforcer. I remember Count Dooku. That one guy, Saruman, took him down. Right? We found the cause of your malfunctions. Despicable. I am sorry to have disappointed you, my lady. As for now, you must live in exile on the moon of Paraquat. Exile Island. I grant you audience with our deployment of Mandalorian privateers. My lord, my lady. My baby. They're going to follow you. I'm not their leader anymore. Ax Wolves is. Then what's your play? I'll know when I get there. Okay, so is he mad because she didn't come back with the Darksaber? Or they didn't agree with wanting to retake Mandalore? Axe Wove. That's a cool name. I've come to reclaim my fleet. It's no longer your fleet. I'm now in command and grown quite fond of it. Then I challenge you. One warrior to another. Is there no other way? Not to the death though, right? Maybe to the death? Do you yield? Oh, in the face. Okay. Do you yield? Can they just fight like this? Then like he can let her win? And then he can get the dark saber? The ruler of Mandalore must possess the dark saber. Then she shall have it. This belongs to you. It's not a gift to be given, no matter how well intended. It's not a gift. While exploring Mandalore, I was captured, and this blade was taken from me. Bo-Katan rescued me and slayed my captor. She defeated the enemy that defeated me. Would this blade uh -huh. then not belong to her? I'll take that logic. Would it not belong to her? It would. I return this blade to its rightful owner. Okay. Maybe it's because it feels less like a Western, which I like now, and more like Marvel, which is good. I just have to accept that this is this new way. Okay, that one was pretty fun. It was, you know, we had a side mission and then the main thing, and then she got the dark saber without having to kill each other. And we got Jack Black and Lizzo and the doc. So yeah, it was fun. And you know what? I don't know if I just think of it as fun and entertaining, then these are good. But if I try to think of it as something deeper, then this season is lacking a bit for me. But I think this is what it's supposed to be right now and that's okay like star wars was is supposed to be for kids kind of right originally and still kind of so we got to see them like alice in wonderlanding like croquet and some fun cameos and like i said a side plot in the end we're on our mission to retake mandalore they still have so many loose ends to tie up though so we shall see hey guys time for another episode I've heard that the last two are really good, so I'm excited. I have high hopes. Someone told me to look at it as if, you know, if they're setting up the world and I can deal with that. I can deal with that. They're setting up the world. They're setting up bigger things. Some of those episodes in between just kind of seemed like filler and I, and I, I'm okay with that, I guess. I just feel like sometimes, and I know, I know, I know it's supposed to be, it really is like for kids. It's on the Disney channel and like, I think it's kind of cool that your kids can watch this with you and you know, especially this day and age, those are, are hard to come by. So I'm just gonna be open-minded about it. And uh, here's the thing. <laughs> Someone told me that Pedro Pascal is not actually in the suit. Broke my heart a tiny bit. I just, you know, he just voices it, which is okay. I'm hoping we get to see his face. If Bo-Katan can walk both worlds, maybe Mando can too, if he wants to only. I'm not gonna be like the devil on his shoulder being like, 
everyone's doing it. Like, well, just once won't hurt, but I kind of am because, um, you know, that means that I literally haven't seen him this season. And after I fell in love with him so much on The Last of Us, it would have been, you know. Anyways, I think we're gonna tie some things up here. I think we're gonna set some things up for the finale. And I'm excited to watch that with you guys live. Okay, time for episode seven. Here we go. Do 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 do. The atmosphere is breathable. <gasps> We're going back to Mandalore. <laughs> this looks like Blade Runner. Is this? The New Republic place? What's that place called? Quantersot? Or OTK2755. I hope the scientist is okay. Report. And make it quick, as I am short on time. Magistrate Cargo was aided by Mandalorians. Which Mandalorians? Din Djarin and his covert. I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. I thought they already dealt with you. Whoa. Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will herald in the re-emergence of our military. You always speak with much authority, and yet I see that Grand Admiral Thrawn is missing. Our one hope for success relies upon the secrecy of his return. I don't even remember who that is. Perhaps it's time we look to new leadership. The creation of clones is your obsession, not mine. I account for what goes on in my sector. Three Praetorian guards. Sounds like someone is concerned about an assassination attempt. And what is your security concern? Mandalorians. They are preparing to retake their home world of Mandalore. Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! Ooh, that struck fear into my heart, actually. That was weird. Um... Dang it, the Mandalorians are gonna know what's coming. They think Moff is is captured, right? Imperial. Look at the markings. Be those, my friend, are Mandalorian privateers. They've never met, and what little they know of each other, they hate. Oh right, yes, it's the like hardcore rule followers, like rebel Mandalorians. His armor is the nicest. It's like they're sending a signal there. Welcome, fellow Mandalorians. Let us prepare a feast for our guests. Tough guys! A little welcome gift to celebrate our new neighbors. Thank you. That's not the only gift I have for you. Mm -hmm. Don't try to kill the baby. Oh. That's IG-12 now. The pilot provides cognition. Yes. <laughs> it's more like a vehicle. Are you too little? Uh -huh. So what do you think? Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. Maybe when he's older. No. What do you mean, no? No. I think he's saying he's old enough to operate it. Yes. Yes. Yes what? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> So, where are you from? Ooh. It is time to retake our homeworld. We leave Navarro and move the fleet into orbit above Mandalore. We'll scout the surface, find out what remains of the Great Forge, and establish a safe perimeter. I need volunteers from both tribes. I will go. Yeah, you will. Grogu as well. I will go. And then the big guy. Oh, no. Okay, this guy. I will go. Then this guy. Yep. I will go as well. <gasps> oh! Ooh, that was kind of cool. Oh, wow. 
I would be like the one that forgot to charge their backpack. <laughs> we'll survey the surface until we find the forge and create a safety zone. Only then will we begin to bring down the settlers. I don't know if it's because, like, that's just her personality, but it sounds like she's reading when she talks. Like, I guess that's like a Mandalorian thing? There, on the horizon. What are we looking at? They're Mandalorians. Is that the voice of Lady Volca's Aunt Creed? It is. Is this another tribe? We knew you would not forsake us, Lady Bo-Katan. Those guys been down here the whole time? In exchange for submitting to the Empire and disarming, all remaining cities and Mandalorian lives were to be spared. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the Darksaber. I didn't trust him, but it was the only chance I had to save our people. And then he killed everyone and bombed any everyone anyways. Mandalore has always been too powerful for any enemy to defeat. It is always our own division. That destroys us. Do we think they like each other? You were right. I was selfish. And this is what it wrought. We'll rebuild it. Isn't that our history? I don't know if I can keep everyone together. What means more to me is honor and loyalty and character. These are the reasons I serve you, Lady Kreese. Your song is not yet written. I will serve you until it is. What is romantic? And loyal. Those of you who are well enough can join us in the search for the Great Forge. We can bring you there. You can't move an enforcer like that. It's a flight job, and you're uh -oh. about to submit. Submit or fight. Uh. <gasps> are we. I never know. If they're actually trying to kill each other or just, you know, like fighting for pride. No. 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 Aww. So the forge is where they make the best car, right? Um. Is that the thing that was underwater? Like, what's it called? The mythosaur? I wonder if the ones that don't take off their helmets are just like so jealous. This is what's left of the Great Forge. You lived here? We all did. We never left. Jetpacks. More survivors. Those aren't Mandalorians. What are they? Stormtroopers with jetpacks? How do they do that? Are these Mothman's guys? <gasps> They've got jetpacks, they're gonna be okay. So many lasers. What if this is a trap? Don't let it be a trap. Use your ball flying things. What is this place? <gasps> it's an airport. What is that? <laughs> oh. MG. Disarm him. Why are they wearing Mandalorian crap and the jetpacks and <sighs> Thank you for gathering the Mandalorians into one place. Mandalore will live on in me. Uh forged from Beskar alloy. Why don't we take your fleet off the board? Activate the interceptors and bombers. No! The purge of Mandalore will be complete. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Mm -hmm. This is the part where you return the Dark Saber to its rightful owner. This is the way. Open the blast door. Yes! Move out! I'll cover the rear! Oh no, big guy. Go. 
This is the way. <gasps> no. Uh, creepy. Oh my gosh. Wait, these red ninja guys were from the sequels too, right? Oh. <gasps> okay. I enjoyed that episode. There was action, the stakes seemed higher. We got our villain back. This reminds me of the second to last episode of season two as well. So things are not looking great for the Mandalorians. And that Pez guy, he sacrificed himself for them. That was really sweet. I had mixed feelings about him throughout the season, but he really, really came through. Um, Grogu got a robot suit. So big things. There was pirates on Mandalore, the ship and everything. So they're really setting it up for this huge battle next episode. The bombers are going out for their fleet. Hopefully that one guy made it in time and could let them know. Although he probably wouldn't know that part. There's like an underground. It's just... And then like the whole scientist thing. We gotta wrap that up, right? Anyways, I liked that one. It had like cute moments like, no, 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 no. <laughs> And yeah, like action-y moments that felt real. You know, I think because we're in this day and age of like pretty amazing cinematography and special effects and all that, like I think I take it for granted sometimes. It's like, oh yeah, that's Mandalore. But of course, like when they're like looking at it from the top and like if I really stop to think about it, that is crazy. That's crazy that they like made this and it looks so real and good. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Now I have even higher hopes for episode 8. The Return. We're safe. I escaped. I've got the kid. I'm going after Moth Gideon. Oh, shoot. That noise was like a dinosaur. Sir, the fighters and bombers have launched. Someone just asked if I want. But the Mandalorian has escaped. I would want Grogu to speak. I can't even imagine that. No, I'll Ugh. take care of him myself. Whoa, that was a Darth move. Come in, R5. You're gonna have to scomp into the base and get me the location of Moff Gideon's command center. You can do it, R5. Whoa! Yes, R2-D2 vibes. Got it. Good job, buddy. Well, that was handy. I like how he called him buddy. I'll take care of the cruiser. Everyone go. So they're loading everyone to the drop ships to take them down? What about the kids and stuff? Whoa. Not another martyr thing. Don't cut away. Is he okay? Ooh, the command nope. center is down there. There's some barrier shields. I'm gonna need you to deactivate them one at a time. Yeah, he does. Open the shield! Open the shield! He's so good at fighting. Next shield. Next. Oh shoot. Yep, take the zapper thingy. Oh, that was cool. Good job, buddy. Oh, it's gonna be a one on one showdown, isn't it? Mothman versus Mando. Although, maybe he's gonna fight, um, Okatan. We're looking at clones, those are his clones. I knew it was gonna happen. I even knew it. Every Let's time go. you look at something in a tank. <sighs> we'll be safe down here a while. We've taken refuge in these surface caves since the purge. <gasps> hey! Do you live here? We have hideouts and food caches throughout the surface of the planet. 
We planted farms. These are the old species indigenous to Mandalore. Lady Kree, your reinforcements have arrived. Oh, for some reason, I was having like a flashback to The Last of Us and thought mushroom zombies were gonna pop out. It's from that when they were going through that swampy part. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot. What? Jetpack fight? That's insane. My clones were finally going to be perfect. I was isolating the potential to wield the force. I love when the villain gives away their plan in a speech. He's been in a Mando suit longer than you, buddy. Shh. Moff, you coward. Beep, 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 not too close. No, no, no. No! No! Sorry. Can Grogu even fight in robot form? But he could force them. Nice. Okay, baby. <gasps> He's laughing. Oh, I'm gonna waddle so fast. Good job. <laughs> you are a poser. Oh, you want to be so cool like the Mandalorian? <gasps> yeah. Go save your kid. Surrender or fight. You don't. Never seen that one before, but okay. That's not a real saber, right? That's a... <gasps> Did you see him just take that breath of relief? Like, dead. It's like a taser saber, like another try-hard weapon. Nice. They're such a good team! You did good, kid. You did so good, baby. Oh. Let's take out the base! Hand over the dark saber, and I'll Never. give you a warrior's death. Did he just break the dark saber? The dark saber is gone. <gasps> that doesn't matter. You've lost everything. Mandalorians are weak once they lose their trinkets. Says the guy who stole all their freaking trinkets. Yes. Coming in hot. You got a jetpack. Grogu. You beautiful, beautiful baby and a beautiful knee slide. Holy cow, I love him. Uh, it's collated quickly. Are they okay? Jet pack, jet pack, jet pack. Oh. You did good, baby. He's gonna need a long sleep. You get a treat. Okay, I want to see a freaking body this time, though. I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors that I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. That I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. This is the where he took the uh, the baptism. The this is the way. This, this is, is the way. way. This is the way. Wow, you know it's a good chant, but all chanting is scary. Grogu is my apprentice. He is no longer a foundling. Add him to the song. He is too young to speak. He is too young to take the creed. He must oh. remain a foundling. He just saved everyone's lives. Parent gave permission. Couldn't he then become a Mandalorian apprentice? Yes, but his parents are far from here. I mean, he's his dad. Then I will adopt him. <gasps> this is the way. 
Let it be written in song. Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. You are now Din Grogu, Mandalorian apprentice. Din Grogu. Take your apprentice on his journeys, just as your teacher did for you. We get to go on adventures! Friend or foe, Mythosaur? The Forge! Back in action! Your kid sure likes the trophies. One of them reminds him of someone he knew. This youngling is my apprentice. What does that have to do with me? I'm a bounty hunter by trade, and I need work. You want to work for the New Republic? On a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. All I require is a small advance. What I want in return is that. And citizens, I am IG-11, new marshal, your new marshal of Navarro. I am at your disposal, and so at your pleasure. Oh, everything's like really happy right now. Too happy. But what about the scientist that they brainwashed in that other girl? Well, that was a nice season finale, as in nice, like, I thought they would have had to set up something for season four. Oh, okay. Okay, I liked that episode. You know I did because everything was wrapped up very nicely. We didn't get Pedro though. Do you think after he just like, so they like record the episode and he just like sits in a room and puts on a helmet and then just like, Good job, buddy. Oh dude, like he, he even, do you think he's even on set? Don't tell me that, don't answer that. Okay, so do we think Mothman's actually dead? Oh, <gasps> Gary. What if the moth that just got killed was one of the clones? I didn't think about that. He didn't have his mustache. It was a clone. What? They're good. I was not paying attention to this stuff. They're gonna make an Ashoka seat, uh, a TV show, right? <sighs> I don't really know who she is. Well, like I know who she is, but I don't know her exact significance. I think I have been told, but. Shoka was Anakin's what? And what? Anakin's Padawan. Oh. Okay, so that was a good episode. It wasn't bad, but maybe hopes were too high and expectations were too high after one and two. I mean, the story changed, right? One and two were all about the baby and, and, and Mando staying together, protecting each other, and will they or will they not? It was a mission, and then everything changed. I also liked the Mando culture in the season. Like I said, I've been hypocritical because I was like, I just want to see them go on adventures and like, you know, just do their thing and I would be happy. And it's pretty much what they did. But then when I actually saw it, I'm like, oh, it doesn't, it just seems too, some of them just seemed too like kid, kitty, almost a little, you know? You have to see the whole season to appreciate it, but it got a lot of hate halfway through. That's true. Like. I feel like my perspective has shifted after seven and eight. Now looking back, I'm like, okay, season three. Okay, um, this was really fun. You guys are all the best and good night. I'll see you tomorrow.